Virtual Deal Factory Daily, inside the virtualdealfactory.com, which is where you need to be for deals getting made, I have to tell you a story. In fact, I think you need to hear it. In fact, I don't even want to tell you to, it to you because what you're about to hear ranks up is Damien's most embarrassing moment of my adult life. I have some childhood embarrassing moments, most of them which I've repressed and I don't remember, but this is definitely the uh, most embarrassing humiliating moment and, uh, and I want to share it for you because to you uh, as an online entrepreneur virtual investor because even though uh, it's embarrassing for me and I kind of want to completely forget the whole thing happened um, you need to hear it you really really do need to hear it because no matter what you're doing in real estate uh, or online uh, you absolutely need to hear what I'm going to share so listen very closely because it's going to pay me to tell you what I'm going to tell you. You might say, why are you holding this skate, Damien? What does this skate have to do with anything? What does it have to do? Hold on. I'll get to that part of the story. First, the background. So I grew up uh, playing roller hockey. I played roller hockey for like a decade. I loved it. Huge uh, Devils fan. was there when they swept the Red Wings in 1995. Uh, good stuff. And anyways, I uh, grew up playing roller hockey. I only played ice when I was 13 years old, and I was terrible. I was on the worst team and the worst guy on the team. Literally, we went, I think, about 20 games without scoring a goal, and every game we got mercy 10 nothing within like the first period or two periods. It was horrible, and I was like the worst of the worst on the worst team in the history of ice hockey. A uh, number of reasons. The skates didn't feel good on my feet. I didn't pick up ice skating until late in life, but playing roller hockey was a lot more natural, and I became pretty good at it. That's where I met Kaz, Lou Kaz, my co-MVP from Team Iron and Iron championship 2004 anyways so I started playing roller hockey well I moved to Florida no roller hockey in Florida in fact on my birthday uh, I had my 33rd birthday just a couple weeks ago I said let me try to find some hockey and I found one roller hockey rink uh, up here in North Florida and it was just not good at all it was just sort of falling apart and kind of unsafe to be honest to play there and I was just like that's it I'm not gonna play and then I got this crazy idea I said let me go play ice hockey which I said, that's crazy, Damien. You were terrible back then. What's, what's that? Do, 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 do. What's over there? Wait, over there, over there, over there, over there. I don't know which side you're pointing to. Vinny's Pick of the Week. Don't forget to get Vinny's Pick of the Week. Pick it out. It's there because we love giving you great things to help you make money. Check out Vinny's Pick of the Week. Do, 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 do. Okay, back. So, I was like, got this crazy idea. I said, Damien, let me go play ice hockey, which is kind of retarded because I was like, well, I was terrible back then. I don't know why I should be good now, but I kind of had this idea maybe I would be. So I went back, and believe it or not, I wasn't terrible. In fact, I felt pretty good. I was like, wow, I could actually play ice hockey. It was such as a, almost like an answer to prayer because I always just wanted to play ice hockey, but I just, I just gave up on it. I was like, there's no way you're playing in this lifetime. Uh, and then I went out there, and I was like, wow, you feel pretty good, even though I was wearing like the public skates, you know, like the bowling shoe equivalent of ice skates. It was pretty good. And so I decided I'm going to play ice hockey. So I just got all my gear, and I got my brand new... CCM Vector Ice Skates. Really, really cool. Bought them online at a discount, of course, because I buy everything at a discount online. And I was so excited and uh, found my first open hockey game, which is when all different guys come out to play. And even Charlene, my wife, was like, I'm going to come watch you. I want to see you. I'm so excited you're playing ice hockey. She said it's so much cooler than roller hockey. I was like, wow, it just got cooler, which is always good. I could use some coolness. Anyways, so she's like, I'm going to come see you. So like, she's coming. She's bringing the baby Sarai. It's like at 1030 at night. So it's kind of like a late night. It's a little bit of an ordeal to come out, but she wants to come see you play. I'm super excited. Got my new skates. I, I take a special trip two days early to have them sharpened because if you don't know, the skates have to be sharpened. You're saying, Damien, what about the deals? Hold on. Listen to the story. Okay. Why are you in such a rush? Take your time. So I bring my skates. I get them sharpened. Uh, two days before because I'm ready. I go there Saturday night. I'm just so excited. It's packed. Like 25 guys show up. They actually, I'm the last guy they accept. They close it out. It's a full house. You know, I'm going there. I want to skate. I want to show my wife I can skate. I want to I want to meet some guys so I can get on a team in a couple months. And so I lace up my brand new CCM Vector 04 ice skates, lace them up, go out there, and literally it's like my worst nightmare. It's like a nightmare, total nightmare. I get out there and I'm like a little deer like Bambi in the middle of a pond. I can't stand. But it's the middle of the game. Like I skate out there because they're already warming up and stuff and I'm in the middle of the rink. I cannot stand at all my skates. I'm like, whoa, I'm falling all over the place. I get on the bench and I'm like, maybe it's just a fluke. I just got to skate a little bit. I go out on my first ship. I fall, I take down one of my own teammates, an older guy, almost injure him. He almost breaks his hip or something. 
horrible. But now I'm trapped on the bench, and I'm like, I gotta get out of these skates. Something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. And But the game's going on, so now I have to skate from one side of the rink all the way to the other, because there's no referees, no timeouts, no exits, in the middle of everybody else. It was like the skate of shame, humiliation. I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm terrible skater guy. I mean, it was humiliating, it was horrible. Turns out they didn't skate sharpen my skates properly, so there was no edge on them. So basically, it was like skating on a spoon. Horrible, horrible, horrible experience. And after that, honestly, I went home and I was like, all I was thinking about is, can I eBay my hockey equipment and sell it because I can't play this game. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. The next morning, I took a deep breath. My wife encouraged me. I actually spoke to Luke Haas, my former co-MVP, go team and iron, and uh, he kind of encouraged me. And I said, you know what? I want to do this. I'm going to do this thing. And I kind of. Shook the cobwebs out, I went in, found out my skates weren't sharpened properly, got back out there, felt so much better, and back on track. Now, why am I sharing this? Because this is what it's like being an entrepreneur. No matter what you're doing, if you're looking to make money, build a business, you're going to go through experience just like this, where you're going to fail, where you're going to be completely demoralized, where you might even be humiliated in front of a lot of people as you fail in order to achieve something great. You know, most people, not that I'm old, but most people my age would say, ah, you know, you're gonna play a sport little and start something new, forget it, you're too old, you can't do it, you can't play ice hockey, you're in Florida anyways, give it up, whatever, you haven't played in, in, uh, in 19 years, give it up, give it up, whatever. Most people will never try anything, but when you do, you know what? You're gonna fail sometimes. Maybe it's your first real estate deal, maybe it's gonna fall apart. Maybe you make a product and you sell none of it. Maybe you're an affiliate marketer and you spend all this time and you generate no sales. So what? Big deal. You're going to fail. You're going to fail again and again and again. What you need to learn to do is embrace it and just say, you know what? It's part of the process because once you do, you'll be mentally so much better off. You know, and speaking of equipment and gear, you know, as you see, it's all about having the right stuff. That's why I'm a virtual deal factor. That's why we recommend resources. We bring things to you that help equip you with the right stuff you need to succeed. So that's what I got for you. It's about a thousand degrees in my uh, garage in Florida, so I got to get out of here. Uh, the skates aren't bad, it's the sharpening, they're good now. I'll be back and I'm sure the more excited I get about hockey, I'll talk to you about it, whether you want to hear about it or not. But there's lessons in everything, so remember, don't worry about it. I've been humiliated, uh, I've been humiliated plenty of times in my business, so is everybody else here in the Virtual Deal Factor. It's okay, it's part of the process. When you go for greatness, this is going to happen along the way. Embrace it, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get ready for something great. Because I believe in you, we believe in you, and thanks for being part of the Virtual Deal Factory. VirtualDealFactory.com. Get inside, stay inside, where deals get made. See you next time.